Hello people, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Sorin and today we're gonna take, we're gonna take a look at this uh, interesting game that happened to me like literally one game before I finish with uh, VK2801105 uh, because I did play this vehicle to complete the battle pass in uh, quick succession. And uh, this vehicle, what can I say about it? It has probably the worst gun. It's a tier 4 gun um, that is sometimes fighting some tier 8. So probably you are not going to deal the most damage, so you're most focusing on spotting. This is what we're going to do right now. We're going to go to my typical bush, which is over there. And, uh, you know, try to spot both ways. Actually, three ways, because you spot the... Um, tanks over here, you spot tanks over crossing like this and the tanks over there. So as you can see we get spotting for uh, the A20, we spotted this guy and uh, that AMD is gonna be a big pain of that but by the looks of it he's stuck which means he has like roughly like 40 minutes of penetration or something like that but other than that we're just trying to use our candy depression and what was that? <laughs> Uh, well, that's the first thing of this gun, the shell velocity and the uh, shell arc. Which means you cannot really do the most damage, but if you are flanking a tank and you are right behind its uh, back, yeah, it's gonna be much easier to snipe. But um, uh, obviously we're stationary, we're trying to aim, we wait for them to get uh, stationary, but we still miss. Yeah, that is that is my uh, my bad aim over there. Once again, stationary, ah, he dodged it. This is like playing dodgeball now. A Panzer 5-4 uh, is gonna take us out of the position. Luckily managed to dodge two shells. And um, we're gonna spot something, at least uh, that's what we thought, because we have a lot of fire at our back. Uh, obviously our guy says uh, fall back, that guy is... I mean we're getting shot from every direction, luckily there is still shock and luckily we have people that are sniping for us. And as you can see, the, even the artillery pieces are uh, here, so we, can, we kind of want to get tiny tiny touch closer just to, um, just to spot them, because we have 45. Now we can actually penetrate that, only if this guy will stop uh, wiggling, but ah, come on. We are just wasting shell at this moment. Now I switch to an HE shield because I see this guy is uh, charging for us. I managed to track him, luckily for 100 damage, that's a lot of damage to do. We load hit and we should be able to connect into his rear, just like that, securing the kill on that uh, overpowered tier 5 medium tanks. There is a Semovente which um, we auto him for that, but big mistake. And uh, by the looks of it, the game doesn't look that bad. That guy got penetrated by the artillery piece for 460 damage. And um, yeah, what can I say? Typical light tank, you just try to annoy everyone as much as possible. Uh, he has on 350 hit points. There we go, we should remove 70 of them. He's getting tracked, and boy, that artillery support is really lovely to have. And there we go, we're up to 1.7k combined, because obviously we're playing, we're trying to, you know, to be as um, as good as we can, to, you know, to increase our win rate, to get the most points out of this vehicle. Because, to be honest, I kind of hate this vehicle, and it is because you cannot really rely on the gun, the gun is very um, not good, because obviously, as I mentioned, it's a tier 4 gun, tier 6, it can be tier 8. So yeah, at least we are getting spotting, and just look at that, uh, we don't get the spotting for that. I think the LC got um, all the assistance, but, you know, I'm not gonna judge. Uh, now we, go, we kind of go back over here, and just look at that clear view. We're actually gonna try to snipe, well, sniping at 200 meters is gonna be, it's not really called sniping, but with this kind of gun you kind of are. Ah, no way. I mean... It was to be expected. Uh, but right now they are actually pushing the valley, they actually reposition and repush the southern part. Um, and what can I say, can just like go up on this hill and snipe across like the AMD, the D3485 and the Patilla if they uh, push us towards the fall line. But there was actually behind my back like an idea, how about I should go for the artillery to get an extra 630 damage towards my uh, mark of excellence, towards my double innate and so on and so forth. But at the same time I see that they are kind of rushing our team and we have like 
deficit of two vehicles and I'm thinking like hmm, how about I go snipe because uh, obviously there is the D3485 making he still got some uh, some use but I'm thinking like nah they're capping the base this means everyone is gonna go to cap and this means no one is gonna return so what was in my head I'm actually gonna go for a cap and uh, yeah capping in all of tanks is really underrated thing so they're going, they're going for a cap, but consider there are still five, five vehicles, I think. They're not going to go for a cap yet. But uh, actually, what I'll do, I'll actually go for a cap. And for the next a minute and 40, I'll just uh, chill here, hoping for, um, for a victory. And uh, obviously, if it's going to be a victory, it's going to be a nice and easy Colombano. But at the same time, they, uh, my team needs to die. In, uh, in before. On top of that, the artillery is, they shouldn't really be really aggressive because they are tier 5 aggressive. Actually, tier 5 artilleries. And considering I'm a um, die tank with like 400 alpha damage, they should be a bit scared to push me. So, uh, right now, we are left alone with uh, 60 seconds on a cap. If they get like 3 people in, they should be able to cap within 30 seconds, I guess, or something like that. But uh, by the looks of it, they are a bit slow on that, so I have 45 seconds, actually make that 50 seconds, make it now 45, and we are just, uh, you know, just staying there, and look at that, we are 5 and a, five and a half seconds in um, quicker than them, so as long as no one is gonna get into cap, I should be able to win, right? And um, just look at that, there are 7 enemy tanks. Can anyone like um, the 3485? Can he make it here? Can the artillery pieces make it here? Can they blind fire? Oh boy, the time is ticking. 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight. Oh, artillery is um, is blind firing. I'm like, oh no. Oh, there is a second artillery, and by the looks of it, no one managed to reset command they have two seconds one second but it's not enough we managed to put a gg in chat and we managed to pick up the victory without amazingly 380 damage and there we go there is the victory screen there it's a second class and uh, spotted because we managed to do 2.4k assistance which uh, is lovely for a tank with uh, that cannot really uh, do damage and on top of that because we managed to fully cap out managed to get an invader by the looks of it I have one in every let's say 1200 battles because I have 22,000 battles and 15 of those in total and the one that everybody wants including myself the Kolobanov so now think of the Kolobanov I mean just look at this we are like um, pretty much at the bottom with the damage because we managed to uh, connect only one shell and that's all but uh, what can I say? Let's go ahead to our service record and let's um, do. S let's actually show off our Colobano medal. So what do I want to change? Do I want to change uh, Dawn of Industry? No. Uh, a, com a commemorative award for those who help make the game better by testing it. Yeah, I don't think people. Know. I want uh, people to know that I'm a super tester. But uh, I think I'm gonna replace this with. The it's not actually sh oh there it is the Kolobanov there you go finally a good medal on our on our list so this was the video guys uh, obviously because the, to get a Kolobanov you actually need to win a game you can either do zero damage and still win and get the Kolobanov but uh, obviously you have to win by capping so um, if there are any any of you that got a Raider medal as well, or a zero damage Kolobanov, please let me know and send me a replay because I'd really love to see how you managed to snatch that one. So without further ado guys, thank you much for watching and I will see you legends around.